Hi, Shaletta. Thanks so much for joining us here today. Thank you for having me. This was like really a great opportunity to just be able to share some information about Gaia and um, what we've been working on there. And it aligns pretty uh, pretty well. So it's good timing, I guess. The universe, as you say. <laughs> well, thank you so much for hopping on the call. I just made you co-host, so feel free to share your screen. Okay. Um, and I'll hand over the virtual platform to you. Awesome. I'm just going to take a second to load up. Sharing my screen. All right. And everyone can hear me okay, right? Yes, all good. Rehumanizing healthcare through AI. Hi, everyone. My name is Dr. Shweta Patel, and I am um, a board certified OBGYN as well as the founder of Gaia Wellness, a virtual first model that's reshaping personalized healthcare for women. I'm also an ardent advocate for tech-enabled human-centered care um, solutions. And uh, though, um, and this is also how you can reach me. This is a QR code to my link tree. So if you do wanna talk or connect after this, I would love to hear from you. And uh, so though this talk may be about digital tools and how they are transforming healthcare, I wanted to start off with a very uh, deeply human story. To start, not long ago, uh, I was on the phone with my sister, and uh, who she's also a physician, by the way, and we were swapping war stories as we often do, stories that are full of you know, compassion and grit, but also fatigue. And she's one of the, the good doctors, you know, the kind that you kind of hope is on call when you're hurting or you're scared. And... Uh, She's been sharing how she's been feeling tired of her work-life balance and of how the healthcare system just seems to be not working more and more so. We also talked about like previous shifts and um, patient relationship and how that's looking, et cetera. And we kind of also talked about how much we both rely on ChatGPT. So much so that I uh, jokingly refer to it as my boyfriend or husband sometimes, depending on the day. Why? Because uh, ChatGPT listens and it learns. It meets my needs with a level of attentiveness and adaptability that honestly rivals some of my real past relationships. Um, it may also be the reason why I'm single. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, and so as odd as it sounds, that's when it clicked for me. Uh, AI, when used with intention, isn't a threat to the doctor-patient relationship or the healthcare system. It's actually the thing that might finally give us the space to rebuild it. So we're living in a remarkable inflection point in healthcare where machine learning is no longer a hypothetical disruptor, but an applied catalyst driving precision, access, and personalization across the care continuum. Over the last decade, digital health has matured beyond dashboards and data visualization. We've seen AI-enabled uh, <clears throat> we've seen AI-enabled diagnostics, remote monitoring um, that rivals the brick and mortar care that we have. Um, we have large-scale investments in virtual first care, care models. Tools like ambient voice technology, large language models, and predictive analytics are fundamentally changing the way the clinician and patients interact. Yet, the real transformation isn't happening in isolated algorithms, it's in how we translate these tools into scalable, patient-centered experiences. Because while AI might understand clinical intent, the real challenge and opportunity is in applying that intelligence where care begins, the moment the patient raises their hand and says, hi, I need help. And that's where Gaia Wellness comes in. Gaia Wellness is a virtual first women's healthcare platform that transforms virtual urgent care visits into long-term personalized uh, wellness journeys through high touch integrative care. So we asked, what if virtual care didn't start with a form, but rather a conversation? You know, many telehealth solutions today remain transactional um, and patients complete a static intake form. There is usually delays in care. Uh, there may be lost to follow up and but healthcare doesn't necessarily thrive in that in that format it thrives in nuance and dialogue and connection so at gaia we asked how do we use ai not just to optimize operations but to bring back intimacy 
to scale care, not just clicks. We reimagined what a visit could feel like from the first question to the last follow-up. Here's what that would look like. A dynamic express visit engine, which instead of a static intake form, engages patients in real time with our AI agent. It's warm, it's responsive, and it does more than collect data. It clarifies and confirms mimicking a true conversation. No two dialogues are exactly the same, and that's by design. Our dynamic express visit engine then is able to generate visit summaries in the form of soap notes, autofill labs, imaging and prescriptions, handle billing codes and clinical documentation, and also set up personalized guidance as follow-up. We of course have the human element or partnership where a physician is or a healthcare uh, member is actually verifying all of the work that's done by our AI agent and ensuring that it is accurate as well as giving the AI agent an opportunity for learning to improve its accuracy with each output. And then care delivery in the form of, like we said, prescriptions, labs, imaging orders, and a detailed care plan that's in a language that's understandable to that patient specifically, delivered within minutes. And of course, personalized patient follow-up journeys. Of course, the future of digital care is continuity. And so once a visit concludes, our system segments patients into tailored health journeys, whether it's hormonal balance, weight loss, or contraception, et cetera. Each patient receives a curated path of content, follow-up, and product recommendations based on their needs, preferences, and goals. This is care that evolves with the patient. It's, it's care that remembers. In essence, we're restoring the rhythm of relationship-based care, but at scale. And what else? Oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> One of our most exciting projects is a predictive preventative care tool. Imagine this. Based on age, history, and risk, risk factors, the system builds a preventative screening schedule tailored to the individual, and with one click, it syncs directly into her calendar, whether it's Google Teams, Outlook, or whatever. No more forgetting mammograms or pap smears, no more wondering what or when it's due, just proactive, automated, personalized care. We often hear the fear that AI will dehumanize medicine, but I believe that's actually backwards. At Gaia, AI is being leveraged to extend healthcare's reach. AI clears the clutter to make care faster, smarter, more empathetic. It creates a space for us to reconnect. It's not about flashy tech, it's about reviving what matters. A provider who knows you, a system that supports you, a care journey that grows with you. AI is helping us rehumanize healthcare. Looking ahead, uh, next month, which I thought that was a mistake, but I guess it's accurate because it is April and we're already at the end of this month. But next month, I'll be sharing the story on a bigger stage at HitLab BTA Summit in Paris. The talk is going to be titled AIAIO, Bridging Women's Healthcare Gaps Across Borders. We'll be expanding on everything that I've discussed here, and I'll also be diving into exactly how we take these innovations and translate them globally from the U.S. to Europe and beyond. Because women's health is not just a national is issue, it's a universal opportunity. And AI is the exact connector we've been waiting for. Thank you for listening. And if this resonates with you, uh, whether you're a founder, a funder, a physician, a patient, or just somebody curious, I would love to talk. We're not just innovating, we're reclaiming the heart of healthcare. Thank you so much, Shweta, for your presentation. Um, and yes, super interesting. We had a lot of uh, comments as well in the chat about how chat GBT may be actually better than a boyfriend because it listens. <laughs> so I love that little first start that you have uh, to get everyone's attention. Um, and yes, as you mentioned, you'll also be in Paris next week. Um, so again, if anyone is local to the Europe area or Paris area, please do apply to attend um, so you can get more great presentations um, and talks like you've heard already today. Um, so thank you so much, Shweta, um, for being on the call with us today. And we look forward to having you next week.